All right, hello and good evening. It's Phil Thatch, and right now I'm on the top of the parking garage at, I don't know if you can see the sign. Somewhere back there, about right there, is a sign that says Chattanooga Choo Choo. So I'm on the top of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Uh, right over there in the background is Lookout Mountain, world famous Lookout Mountain, where you'll find Ruby Falls and Rock City. And I'm up here, I've just uh, gone to my daughter's high school graduation, that's why I'm dressed way nicer than I would normally dress. And we, uh, we came after the graduation and had dinner. And now we are here and we're on the top of the parking garage here at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. And it offers a nice view and some beeping horns down below of, I believe that's Market Street going off that way. And there's Warehouse Row and uh, somewhere over in that direction is the dome building. And there's just all sorts of great stuff to photograph from up here on the top of this parking garage. And I figured while I was here and I had my camera, I thought I would give this area a shot. And you know, the, I bought this 24 to 70 f 2.8 RF lens instead of the 28 to 70 for a number of reasons. One, it's a lot cheaper. One, it's a lot smaller. Another, it has image stabilization, but another is it's supposed to have extraordinarily great light stars. So tonight, while I'm up here at this awesome location, I'm gonna make a few shots with the 24 to 70, doing some long exposures and try to get some light stars and maybe some light trails here in downtown Chattanooga. All right, there is the Chattanooga Choo Choo from the other side of the parking garage I'm on. Here's another angle from the roof of this parking garage. Last time I was here, I did some long exposure shots looking down this way, and I think I made a pano looking over in this direction. There's Lookout Mountain right there. But the spot we're going to shoot from is over on the other side of the garage. All right, well, I made a few shots from here, which I may combine to do like an exposure blend to have all the light trails kind of combined together into one really big light trail while I was at 15 seconds. And now I think I can shoot at 20 or maybe 25 or 30 seconds. All right, let me show you a few of the pictures that I made at 20 seconds. So here is a photograph, 58 millimeters, 20 seconds, F16 ISO 100. I don't have any filters for this lens because it has an 82 millimeter filter tread, which is the one thing I don't like about it. I wish it was a 77. So take a look here at the light trails going down Market Street. Here's a 20 second shot, one of them. Here's another one, different light trails. Everything else is pretty much the same. Here's a third 20 second shot. Look at those light trails. Here is a fourth 20 second shot. Still more light trails and different. Here's a fifth 20 second shot with still more light trails. Here is a sixth 20 second shot with more light trails. And here is a seventh 20 second shot with still more light trails. So what I did was I put all of those photos in Photoshop and I aligned them to make sure that they would line up just right. And I did an exposure blend where I let all the brightest parts of each image through. And that gave us this. Uh, of course, now I've edited, edited this and cropped it. I think, uh, I guess that's probably a 16 by eight, which I tend to really like for YouTube. But you can see all of the light trails from all seven of those images are all present in this shot and it makes it look like the traffic was much, much busier. Let's full screen that shot. Pretty cool. I like the way that turned out. Very nice indeed. All right, so now the time is right for a 30 second exposure. So I'm going to try to do a 30 second panorama from this location. I've done one of these before with my Z6 and I'll put a link to that up in the top. It's blue hour and 30 seconds is right. All right, so I just made a multiple shot panorama. I'm not really even sure how many, but I started 
kind of in, uh, it's hard to even get it in the frame. I kind of started that way and went all the way over there with multiple shots, 30 seconds a piece, right here during the blue hour from the roof at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Also, this is a vlogging test of the Canon R6 4K with the 24-70 f2.8 RF lens at f2.8. How's it look? How's the bokeh? How's the light? How's the color? How's it look? Okay, now we are going to look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 shots that I used to make a panorama. For these shots, I put, I put the camera on the tripod vertically and I'm still at 58 millimeters, 30 seconds now. And this is a good example, although I think this is two lights right together. This is a good example of the great light stars that this lens is. Uh, one of the reasons why I purchased this lens is because it's really good at light stars. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots, 10 shots, excuse me, which I combined together to make this one panorama. You can see all the stuff. And this is a 30 second shot, so there's a little bit more activity here. Uh, wouldn't that be something to make uh, seven shots and then do seven shots of each of those nine shots to make a panorama like that. Now I've made a panorama just like this before, like I mentioned. So uh, this is kind of just rehashing old territory for me, but I wanted to try it with this new camera and I had already paid to park in that parking garage. So I thought it was uh, a good use of my time. It didn't take very long to make these shots, although I did have to wait for the sun to go down a little bit. But there is the panorama. Okay, so I made two more shots uh, after the panorama, and for these, you know, the, the, the R6 will only allow you to shoot 30 seconds unless you go into bulb mode, and I, I connected the camera to my phone via Bluetooth and the Canon Bluetooth app, and that allowed me to put the camera into bulb mode and control it with my phone. I don't have a, a trigger, a shutter cable release, but uh, I was able to do it with my phone. So the first shot I did was this one. This is a 61 second shot. This is all one shot instead of where the other shot I combined a whole bunch together to make a lot of light trails. But this one, I just did it for a long time. And I was able to do that because it was much darker. And I, I really like this shot, but there's there are some, it's kind of muddy, especially right here. You can see it at that light star and even these and this one and I'm not sure if it's because I had bumped the camera I did have a or if it was windy I did have a little wrist strap hanging from the camera that may have caused it to move um, so I'm not extraordinarily happy with this shot but I would be if I had not failed on the sharpness now it's not a it's not a problem with the camera at all it's something that I did wrong during this 61 second shot and then after that shot, it had gotten a little bit later and I did one more. This one's at F18. And I said, let me see if I can make the exposure even longer. So I'm just kind of guessing at these exposures. And I think I did really good on both of these. Uh, I stopped it down to F22 and I was going to do a minute and 20 seconds. But right when it got to two minutes, minute and 20 seconds, there was some more traffic activity about to happen. So I let it go another 13 seconds and the exposure turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, but this one, just like the last one has some sharpness problems in a few places. And I think that that is probably also a uh, camera movement problem that I need to work on. I, I was carrying my very lightest tripod, which might not be the best for an exposure of over two minutes and even over one minute. So that could be it, but I wanted to share these with you. It, it was a fun night of photography after my daughter's graduation. All right, thanks for joining me for another night of parking garage blue hour photography. First time I've ever tried it with the Canon R6 and this fantastic RF 24-70 f2.8 lens 
which while being heavy is proving to be a really great vlogging lens, especially at f2.8 and 4K. I hope to see you in a future video. Subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Bye-bye.